Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A uterus is a very important part of the reproductive system because it helps in the growth of the baby. Not only does the fertilized embryo reach there and implant itself, that's the site of growth of the baby and development and formation. And that's the site which needs to be very strong for a proper delivery uh, of the baby. So it's a very important uh, uh, part of the whole machinery of reproductive system. A normal uterus looks like this. It has two horns, which, uh, which are basically uh, tubes connected to the ovary. That's where the egg is released and picked up in the tube and transporting the embryo into the uterus. It's a very, very important and very simple anatomy where two tubes are connected to two ovaries on either side. This is the cavity. This is where the baby is going to grow. This is the cervix, which is the entrance. This is the vagina. So very, very simple. And this is how it looks. If you look at the next uterus here, you will see that it is quite different from the normal ovary. You can see that where there is a single nice cavity here, you can see that there are two. So they are like two horns, isn't it? Two parts, the same uterus is divided into two parts. So there is not enough space for the uh, baby to grow and therefore there may be a chance of, a very high chance of uh, implantation failure or miscarriages and abortions as we know them as. So that's a didelphus uh, one. Now if you look at this one, this is called as an arcuate uterus. You can see that there is a small arch here inside the cavity. It is not a very good thing to have because only if the fundus is like a normal ovary, like a normal uterus, only if the fundus is like a normal uterus, can you have a proper implantation inside the uterus. If you look at this one, you can see that there is a small arch here and that also may result in implantation failures. Next, we come to the unicornoid OT unicornuate uterus now this by unicornuate we mean that there is only one horn only one side of the uterus is present and if you were to further classify them you will see what i uh, mean by the classification systems communicating as in yes it is unicornuate it is not the shape that it actually should have but it is communicating to the ovary on both the sides you can see it is misshaped but it is still communicating it's th there is still a chance of pregnancy in this kind of a unicornuate uterus when you come to non communicating you can see very clearly here you can see very clearly here that this side is communicating to the ovary and this side is not there is a blockage also in addition to that the size is very small so the cavity is very small therefore the growth of the baby may not uh, be according to how it should be normally when you look at this one here you will see that there is no cavity here this one is not communicating and there is no cavity on this side there is no cavity at all the cavity is also very small and no horn by no horn i mean that there is an absence totally on this side of the uterus therefore uh, that side of the ovary even if it is ovulating because there is no tube because there is no connection to the endometrium the chance of pregnancy then comes down to half next we come to the bicornuate uterus as the name suggests there are two cornuas there are two sides to it it is quite different from the uh, didelphus because there are two uteruses here here there is just one uterus but you can see that there is a deep invagination and the size definitely is small this is a complete bicornuate as in it is divided very clearly into two parts you will see this is a pa partial uh, bicornuate as in very lightly it is divided into two parts this also causes um, miscarriages and abortions to occur when we look at a septa, it, this is a very common uh, uterus that we see, um, a malformation uh, in the uterus that we see. You will see a partial septate. It's like a wall. It's like a muscular wall between the uterus, which is um, quite Im invaginating. Therefore, what happens is that the embryo does not find place to implant and grow. Then you look at the complete. Here you will see that this muscular wall, which is going inside the uterus, has divided the uterus into two completely. This is a muscular wall. It has divided it. Therefore, there are two portions. We don't know which which part uh, is uh, you know capable enough to accommodate a complete growth of a child so this is a very important um, septa that we see which causes infertility if you have been diagnosed with such a problem if your ultrasonography has revealed that you have one of these causes and you would like to uh, get surgical evaluation or surgical help surgical treatment or even 
uh, fertility treatment for such a problem, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen. Thank you.